Hi guys, it's Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're a student, this one's for you. I'm spilling the tea on how to get the most out of your iPad. Let's get into it. iPad OS 18 introduced the calculator app to the iPad. Child, it's been a long awaited addition, but it's finally here. And it's not just your average calculator. It comes with a feature called Math Notes and it's so fire. With this feature, you can write out any equation and your iPad will solve it instantly. This is really efficient and convenient, saving you some extra time. It's basically like having a built-in math tutor. Super helpful for students or anyone who wants to solve equations quickly without typing them out. Split view is perfect for multitasking. Just tap the three dots at the top of an app and select split view to run two apps side by side. You can also just drag and drop an app to the side of the screen to use it alongside another one. To open a quick note, just swipe up from the bottom right corner. If you come across something helpful on a web page, you can highlight it and add it to your quick notes. When you tap on the quick note, it takes you right back to the web page and highlights exactly what you saved. This links directly to your notes and you can use your Apple Pencil or keyboard to type. Overall, Quick Notes is exactly what it sounds like, a fast way to write down whatever you need, whether you're in class or studying. If you've been around my channel for a minute, you already know I am a Good Notes girly. That's where I do all of my digital planning. Good Notes is super popular and she's definitely that girl in my opinion. But if you're looking for a more budget-friendly option, I get it and I would recommend checking out the Nuful app. It has a clean, minimalistic interface with tons of features built around the Apple Pencil and digital planning. It's easy to use and doesn't feel overwhelming, especially if you're just getting started with digital planning or note-taking. Nofa Pro is a one-time payment of around $5, so if you're balling on a budget but you still want something powerful and aesthetic, Nofa might be the move. Most note-taking apps come with built-in templates that you can customize to create your own notebooks. So you can do the most or keep it simple, it's up to you. You can now record lectures in GoodNotes and other similar apps. In GoodNotes, just tap the mic icon in the toolbar to start recording audio as you take your notes. You'll see an icon with a red dot, just tap it to replay all of your audio. What's really lit is that it syncs with your handwriting. You can take notes while recording and they'll play back in real time alongside the audio. So you can literally tap on a section of your notes and it'll jump to the part of the lecture when you wrote it. You can even write or highlight directly on your presentation slides and worksheets. And if you don't have a digital copy, just scan the document with your camera and GoodNotes will automatically clean and brighten it up for you. One of the easiest ways to add photos to your notes is just by dragging and dropping them from the internet. Or you can grab images from your photo album too. In the Photos app, just long press on an object to remove it from the background. The tape tool is clutch for studying. You can use it to hide key information, quiz yourself, and tap on it to reveal the answers. I love the apps like GoodNotes sync across your iPad, your iPhone, and your Mac, so you can easily access your planner wherever you are. And y'all, this is a little random, so skip ahead if you're not interested. But in my How to Write Neatly video, I mentioned pencil grips, and I finally got one off of Amazon. How stinking cute. But yeah, I love how easy it is to switch up your pen colors, and you can enter in hex codes to get specific colors too. My channel is all about digital planning. My planner is how I stay organized and keep my life together. I also have a few freebies if you're trying to get into digital planning. Check the description to grab yours. Another new addition in iPad OS 18 is Smart Script. It automatically refines your handwriting, smooths it out, and makes it look more legible without losing your personal writing style. You can long press and move your handwritten notes around, making it easier to reorganize and even add extra information in. With this feature, you can actually copy text and paste it as handwriting, even though this don't look nothing like my handwriting. It's all good though. You can take a screenshot by swiping up from the bottom left corner of your screen. Then you can highlight and mark it up however you like. You can also take a screenshot and tap full page if you're trying to save the entire web page. From there, you can share it to your note-taking app if you want to come back and study it later. With the scribble feature, your handwriting converts to text automatically and you can just scratch it out to erase. To enable this, just head to your settings, go to Apple Pencil and switch on scribble. 
You can make a custom focus mode to block distractions and lock in while you're studying. I use this one all the time, especially when I'm working. It's definitely one of my faves. You can pick which apps and contacts can still notify you while this focus mode is on. You can also customize your lock in home screen. I've got another tutorial that goes more in depth. So check it out if you want to learn more. I'll be sure to drop the link in the description. If you're considering getting an iPad, I honestly think it's a great investment for students, especially with all the new features. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.